What's good with y'all? This is Mag Jess. Welcome to Super Mario World Randomizer. Uh, I've been wanting to play some Mario World for a while, and I ran across, uh, I mean, not ran across, of course, um, I love watching, uh, Peanut Butter Gamer and, uh, Jeff, PB and Jeff, and, uh, they had this up on their, on their channel, and it looked like a lot of fun, so I decided to give it a shot. If you guys want to try it, I'll leave a link in the description, it's super easy, you just plug in your ROM, and there you go. Don't even need a download for it. Alright. Let's hop in this. <sighs> okay, so I only just opened it to see if it worked, and I already know what this looks like, but that's about it. And, I also might mention... I just got finished recording some Donkey Kong Country, so this feels very heavy. <laughs> the controls, I'm gonna have to get used to the controls. Uh, okay, so there's all kinds of stuff. I'll, I'll, I'll probably have a picture for you right here of a whole bunch of different things you can actually change in the... Uh, in the ROM, so that way, like, like, there's a lot of things you can randomize. And, um, so just a quick flash of it right here, bam. Uh, that's what it looks like when you open it up. Nah, screw it, let's just go. And, um, I picked all kinds of- I, I basically made everything as random as possible, except for a couple of things, just in case it breaks the game. Like, uh, water levels not having water. I could see that being difficult. Okay. Yay! <laughs> and so all the sub-levels are totally random, and it looks like they even throw in sub-levels from other levels. I didn't realize it was going to be that random, but who to thunk it? Alright, Rendell's- <laughs> Wendy's Tunnel Y is done. Continue. Okay. Oh, it's underwater. Cool. Uh, well, I'm not gonna get a free life anyway with uh, fireballs like that, so... Whatever. Let's see if I can get the yump. Ah! What is this? Kaizo Mario? <laughs> totally distracted me. I wanted to try and get the yump. i never done it before. I never even knew it was a thing. Watching a lot of other people play um, Mario World a lot, I kind of come to uh, learn some things. So that wasn't entirely random, the yellow switch was there, however they did do some other things. That that Monty Mole at the end was kind of messed up though. Alright, Wendy's house. Dude, Wendy's got it on lockdown right here. Hello, sorry I'm not home. Okay, so that's... I mean, I put random text on, but apparently it, it didn't change, so I don't know. I noticed that with uh, PB and Jeff's gameplay as well. Alright. Oh, I didn't even see the name of the level. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess I'll see it now. And why did I get him throwing chucks? That sucks. Wendy's Tunnel 3. Yep. Some more Wendy's. Okay. All right. Thank you for rescuing. Can I skip? There we go. Thank you. I got a Yoshi. Oh, come on. Come on, Yoshi. Okay. Dude, I'm not used to these controls yet. All right. What the? Is that a new... They never had that power before. It's like a spring jump every time I land. Or jump, I mean. I mean... That's pretty cool. <laughs> I got like a super jump. Ah. No. Get out of here. Okay. I don't need you guys throwing chucks. 
It doesn't seem to be incredibly random, considering that uh, in PB and Jeff's gameplay, they got random chucks being thrown from Lakitu's as well, so I don't... I don't know, maybe there's some things that stay the same. But I'm seeing some consistencies here, and it's kind of a bummer. I was hoping for some more randomness. But I also got Luigi, and I also got the Chucks being Chucked. Gives him a whole new name. Does, uh, Green Shells do anything different? Nope. I still got the, uh, Stomp effect, though, so it appears as though maybe Green Yoshi has the Stomp effect. Okay. Yay! I didn't mean to get rid of Yoshi. Come on, let's go. Uh, Bap. Well, that's a bummer. Nah, I'm going back. Dude, Wendy's Tunnel 6 is next. Wendy's got the first world on lock. Just give me the Yosh. <laughs> Alright. Wendy's Tunnel 6. Ah! Oh man, the randomness is- Whoa, that was a good save. Well done, Luigi. The randomness in this is, uh, pretty cool, man. I like it. It makes a familiar game not so familiar, and it's awesome. Ah! Ah, come on! Yoshi! There you go. Okay. So there's also consistent random and consistently random or um, chaotic random, I, I suppose. And so I, I, I checked the chaotic because I was curious as to whether or not it'd be any different compared to the gameplays that I saw. Woo. Um. Oof, okay. And it seems to be pretty damn similar. You know, for it being random, there's a lot of similarities that are kind of bumming me out. But, all in all, god damn it! I swear I ate that Monty Mole. I'm gonna have to look at that when I'm editing. a cloud. How do I get that? There we go. <laughs> that works. What level is this and how do I beat it? There we go. Yay! Okay, I'm already gonna s <laughs> I already see a lot of good times being had with this game. I am flying through it a little bit faster than I expected, though, so... This might be a shorter series than I thought it would be. Okay. Oh, it's ice. Ah. No. I don't like that my moving platform is ice. Ah. Feels incredibly awkward. And if you've seen my Donkey Kong Country, uh, my Donkey Kong Country episode, man, I do not do well with ice physics at all. That world gave me the hardest time, I think, out of every other world. Ooh, I forgot there's a uh, different power-ups too yeah awesome dude hammer brothers suit in Mario world why didn't they do that to begin with okay so the yellow shells 
seem to give a spring jump instead of a instead of the ground poundiness. Oh, give me that. <sighs> yeah. Ooh, did he he turned blue, but does he stay blue or is that just because of the bonus area? And also, am I automatically beating the level by doing this? Because I think it ends the level usually when you do one of these, doesn't it? I don't know. Let's see. It does! Cool! <coughs> I'm pretty excited for the Hammer Brother suit. Oh god. Oh, he's throwing fireballs instead, and he took away my hammer suit! I wanted my hair shirt, but I did notice my Yoshi's blue. That's cool. It just changed blue, just for the sake of doing so, I guess, which is awesome. Yeah, give me that. Since I got robbed for it earlier. Yeah, that hammer. This hammer dude is throwing fireballs instead, and they're actually more lethal, I think. Could be worse though. He could be throwing some. He could be throwing chucks at that rate. That'd be absolutely abs absurd. Okay, just keep going. Okay. So my all of my exits are co totally random as well, and the levels that require two exits are gonna give me two exits still randomly as well, and those. I hit the check- I marked the box for something. I don't remember exactly what it said, but it makes me wonder if my regular goal posts could potentially just change to a key post- a uh, key door as well, or... I don't know. Anyway, let's keep this moving. Also, this is pretty awesome because it's kind of like- because of the randomness, it kind of feels like a another version of Mario Maker, but with cool stuff like colored Yoshis and stuff. Which I'm pretty excited to see that there are colored Yoshis in Mario Maker 2, to my understanding. I mean, they showed a red one. Oh, god. Uh, whoa, his tongue is weird. Whoa, somehow I got a, an extra piece switch. I guess I ate it. <laughs> Uh, it's looping, isn't it? Where's my ending at? And why do I feel like I've gotten this set up, like, too many times? No! Come here, Yosh! Ah, motherfucker. I also have to get used to the fact that the invincibility frames are... not the same as Mario Maker's as well. Dude, it never ends. Can I go back? Alright. I know I'm running out of time. I can't figure out where the exit is. <laughs> Let's go back. Maybe... Uh, it's just coins. I'm pretty sure I saw this in... in PB and Jeff's gameplay as well, that it's not feeling as randomized as I thought it would. Honestly. Get a bonus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Yeah. Some, some of these similarities are kind of ruining it a little bit for me. Because the whole point is to, you know, like, not know what the hell the... Not... The whole point is to not know where you're going. So if some of them are, like, the same, then... I'm gonna know where I'm going. What? What is it? Oh. It's like... It's like that fancy... It's like that fancy thing you can get in Mario's 3D world, where you just get coins for walking around. That's pretty, pretty cool. Ah, I didn't want to. I wanted to eat it. Damn it, Yoshi! 
come on. Uh, I didn't mean it. Yeah. I didn't think it would take over my better power up, but that is Mario World. I forgot. So it doesn't look like I could just fly. Either that or it still registers as I'm a green Yoshi. I'm not sure. Because with the blue Yoshi, I should be able to fly with any shell. Don't know what's going on with that. Ah! Why didn't I jump off of Yoshi? I could have. Okay. Now I have nothing except for a mushroom. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get used to how this controls because. I want to play some more Mario World hacks, and if anybody wants to leave a comment down below on a Mario World hack that you want me to check out, I'll be happy to- oh, As long as I don't embarrass the hell out of myself, I'd be happy to play some, some other Mario hacks, I just had a hard time finding any good ones. I have a couple backed up though. I have this one and I also made another one that's random. So I just I just made a couple random um Mario World ROMs so that way you know I'll have a little bit more variety. And if I finish this a little too fast then I might run run through a another one. I could go back to the site and make as many as I want too, so Ugh. Get out of here, Chuck. Ugh, son of a bitch. I'm glad that it brings me to cape and, ugh, instead of just big. Too many Chucks! I don't like you! <laughs> Get out of here. Whew. Those Chucks weren't there before, were they? Maybe that's what it means by the chaotic enemies, is that... Uh, the chaotic randomness, is that maybe they change each time? It's not... This... well, that would make sense, because the other option was consistent random. So, I guess they change each time you go into the room, or each time you enter that area? That's interesting. Okay, well, I gotta find the secret exit in that, but we'll do that in the next episode. I think that'll do for this one. Um, this is Mag Jess. I'm gone.